Friends, UPSC prelims is two months away and the important subjects for prelims other than the current affairs are history, geography, economy, polity, environment, science and technology and international relations. In today's session, I will be talking about the approach you need to follow for the history. Generally, for history, each student would have his own source that he may be following in the he or she may be following in the last uh, uh, one year. For example, for the ancient history, for the ancient history, you may be following R. S. Sharma, which is nothing but the old NCRT or the new NCRT. For the medieval history, generally Satish Chandra is what most of the students follow which is also nothing but old NCRT and some students just follow the new NCRT and some students follow Tamil Nadu textbooks also because Tamil Nadu textbooks are also good enough for the ancient medieval history and for the modern history for the modern history spectrum is widely followed but by most of the candidates some candidates follow Bipin Chandra which is old NCRT in fact Bipin Chandra either modern Indian history or India struggle for independence both are good textbooks and both are enough even the new NCRT is also good. New NCRT in the sense the 8th class 2 NCRTs as well as the 12th class NCRT. So, and for art and culture, for art and culture, Nitin Singhania is widely followed by most of the candidates. However, some students can just, you know, an introduction to the Indian art, a NCRT textbooks on art and culture, that is also enough. That is also enough. Or, you know, if you have attended any coaching, wherein your faculty has given you an elaborate notes on ancient medieval modern art and culture mostly loaded towards ancient and medieval history. So a good notes from a you know, good faculty who has covered all the topics and you made elaborate notes with all the important facts and concepts would be enough. So irrespective of what source you have followed for history in the last one year or so, friends, now is the time you revise those things. But the reason behind making this video is what topics you have to emphasize, what topics you should not neglect while preparing for the history. Of course, though every topic is important and UPS is unpredictable, they can give any question from any topic. Generally from the history, 10 to 20 questions come in the UPSC prelims in history. In that, more than 50% questions are generally from the modern history, from the modern history. And in the remaining 50%, majority is from the art and culture. If you compare ancient medieval, the generally questions are more from the ancient than the medieval. And here also the factual parts are mostly from the art and culture of ancient and medieval history. So for the prelims, you should not neglect modern history. That's the first important thing. Second is ancient, third is medieval. If you want to you know, arrange them in the orderly fashion of priority. priority. And friends, today the idea is that I will be telling what are the main topics, UPSC's favorite topics or main chapters that you have to emphasize, focus on because for the mains, the topics you have to focus on are slightly different from the prelims that you have to focus on. Though you have to read every chapter, every topic, there should be some topics and chapters which you have to emphasize more on. And within those topics, what are the types of questions or subtopics that UPSC, you know, generally asks questions from. For example, even from the current affairs, of course the current affairs are mostly related to the polity, economy, environment, IR, but history also one or two questions may come from current affairs. For example, when Ramanujan was in news previously, there was a question on the Ramanuja philosophy. Similarly, when Central Vista project is in the news, during the time along with the Central Vista project, Chausat Yogini Temple. Chausat Yogini Temple was in news and question was asked. Question was asked, so think we are, you know, Chausat Yogini Temple. You know, for example, if Sitar Vansal, if Sitar Vansal is in news, then there will be question on the Kiyo painting. So like that, for example, if certain festival of Northeast is highlighted in the newspaper or certain martial arts, certain painting comes in the newspaper for whatever reasons, Question can come from that area. For example, in polity also, if in the news and certain issue of government happens, in Arunachal Pradesh, Karnataka, some issue of the government happens, then in that year, there would be some question about the 
you know, discretionary powers of governor, some question may come. For example, if there is disqualification of any certain MP because of two years of imprisonment given by certain court in India, that year there may be question of polity about the disqualification of MP, what measures secretary can take of parliament. So like that, history also, if any 50 years happens of certain uh, national, national hard years of certain event of Indian um, independence movement or hard years of certain uh, uh, 300 years or 400 years of certain event on the medieval history happens, there may be question on that. Other than those kind of events, generally, yeah, the his from history, the uh, effect of current affairs is pretty less. Now, without wasting much time, I would list out the important topics that you have to emphasize, you have to focus, and also towards the end of session, after 10 15 minutes, I would open the Excel in which I have noted down the important areas that they have touched in the last 12 years from 2011 to 2022 because from 2011 the UPSC prelims pattern has changed in the last 12 years the major areas asked by the UPSC mostly there is a repetition if you observe the pattern there is a repetition so based on that we can actually discuss the important aspects that you have to focus on friends in ancient friends in ancient history in ancient history quickly speaking prehistory prehistory, then Indus Valley civilization, then the Vedic culture, Vedic period, particular Vedic culture and the philosophy. In Vedic period also, UPSC's favorite for the prelims are the philosophies and in 6th century BC, the favorite of UPSC is Buddhism and Jainism. Buddhism and Jainism are the favorite topics of UPSC. You know, and then Mahajanapadas, Mahajanapadas, you know, then the Mauryas. In Mauryas, mostly they would ask, focus on two kings, Chandragupta Maurya, Chandragupta Maurya, Ashoka, are the favorite of UPSC generally in the Mauryas. And post Mauryan kingdom, post Mauryan, post Mauryas, then the Guptas, then the post Guptas. Broadly, these are the topics of ancient history. And friends, in Indus Valley civilization, the focus is mostly on the, the important Indus Valley sites, the regions covered by those sites, and what are the findings of urbanization or modernization or material culture or religion. Religion in the sense, whom they pray to, what they pray to, what toys were found about the branch, about the sculpture, about the trade. These are the important aspects of IVC. In the prehistory, only the tradition, culture, the cave paintings, again, those things will be focused on the prehistory, but IVC is the most favorite topic. And in the Vedic period, the philosophy, it can be, you know, the Sankhya philosophy, the Vaisesika, the Nyaya, the Lokayat, you know, the philosophies. Philosophies are the favorite of UPSC and they mostly focus on that. In the Vedic period, generally the comparison of Vedic period with Indus Valley civilization is commonly there. Buddhism, Jainism are, all, are always the very fair topics of UPSC. Every year they ask questions and generally the difficulty level of the questions of Buddhism, Jainism is very high. So you have to read as many sources as possible for Buddhism, Jainism. Don't stick yourself to any one or two sources. Whatever material you find on Buddhism, Jainism, just read it because questions, the difficult level is increasing, you know, in the Buddhism, Jainism. Then Mahajanapada is only the important kingdoms, kings, extent, you know, the yeah, as per the map, important things are covered. In the Maurya, Sandagupta Maurya, Ashoka also, the important aspects of administration, art, culture, literature, foreign travelers, and the extent of kingdom is what is covered in the Mauryan time. And in the post-Mauryan time also, the Indo-Greeks in the western part of India, in southern India, the Satavahanas, the Satavahanas and Sangam literature is also asked for these days. And you know, the Shungas, the Shakas, the Kushanas, the Shakas, the Kushanas, the Kushana kings are the important kingdoms. You don't need to learn all the kings of these kingdoms. Just two important kings of each of this kingdom and the extent of this kingdom and any important art, architecture, literature or traveler during these times are enough regarding the post Mauryas. In Guptas also, Chandragupta, Bodhagupta 1, 2 and then Samudragupta 
you know these three gupta kings they focus on only on these three gupta kings and during the time any buddhist councils happened and you know the art and architecture of those two administration for example types of tax types of revenue administration what were the different names which, which the tax officers or those who collect the tax are called so those important terms terminologies are the focus of the upsc during the uttas and in the post uttas also chalukyas after post uttas the harshavardhan in north india then the chalukyas the pallavas the kakatiyas and the varmas varmas these are the only important kingdoms about which generally the questions were there in the upsc and friends the location of these kingdoms the chronology the important chronology generally the political history is not important you have to only focus on the socio religion cultural art and architecture administration revenue extent geographical part of the kingdoms or kings the political history is generally not of any importance rarely chronology of different kings may be asked but generally the lineages the queens the kings their children they are not at all focused in by upsc and at the end of the medieval at the end of the ancient history between the ancient history and medieval history the tripartite struggle the tripartite struggle between the palas the pratiharas rashtrakutas pratiharas rashtrakutas has been of importance in the upsc prelims examination try to plot down the multiple dynasties the timeline the extent and whatever i, I have told about this these kingdoms and kings just go through them friends now coming to the medieval history in the medieval history after this tripartite in the medieval history the advent of the turks even these days there were questions on the mongols the mongol politics are important uh, mongol kings and who among them came close to india questions were there then delhi sultanate in delhi sultanate also as i told you don't focus much on the political history just the important socio cultural changes that happened during the delhi sultanate any difference in the art architecture literature any market reforms or any experiments done by certain kings all kings are not important generally the focus will be on alauddin khilji focus alauddin khilji muhammad bin tughlaq generally this is the focus of uh, most of the focus on these two kings they are the favorite kings of our upsc in the medieval history delhi sultanate then the cholas the imperial cholas are also important because particular art architecture again same thing revenue administration municipal administration the extent of king kingdoms you know the temple architecture are very important then in south india vijayanagara kingdom is of another important uh, importance for the upsc the deccan sultanate is mostly not asked the bahmani deccan sultanate is mostly not asked if you want to prepare also in order to go in depth for those kind of topics you can just understand only the basics for example buddhism jainism asked you to go in depth similarly cholas vijayanagara you may have to go in depth but bahmani is and deccan sultanate you no need to go in depth if at all there is any difficult question then nobody can answer that not only you but nobody can answer that so you should not focus on those kind of things for example if you focus much lot of if you spend lot of time energy on deccan sultanate and bahmanis these kind of kingdoms i would say it's a waste of your time if you prepare upsc prelims waste of your time every option you can prepare otherwise not required then the mughals mughals is important and mughals also has told you the mansabdar system the jagirdar system the important terms tax collection revenue administration these are of importance art architecture paintings this is of importance in the mughals also then both in medieval history and modern history you got you have got marathas then you know sikh sikhism sikh philosophy just like jainism and buddhism you should learn more about the sikhism the ideas of sikhism uh, various gurus what they thought in sikhism is also is also very important then the bhakti movement and sufi movement particularly in bhakti and sufi the important philosophies important saints the dualism the dualism the non dualism the sagun nirgun various philosophy of various saints have to be focused and this is another major topic you can read more than two to three sources for bhakti and uh, sufi bhakti movement and sufism because upsc prelims the question can go in depth in these topics this is about the medieval history in broad and friends as i told you in after 5 minutes i would actually open the excel and show you the important areas covered in the last two to 12 years 
for understanding for an idea. In the modern history, the advent of Europeans, the advent of major Europeans, and how the British Empire is established. Chronology, which areas they occupied, the chronology, important events of establishment as well as expansion. How the British expanded in India. And the most favorite topic is socio-religious or socio-cultural, socio-cultural organizations or reforms happen in the modern India, modern British time. It can be the Arya Samaj, the Brahma Samaj, Brahmo Samaj, the Pradhana Samaj, the Theosophical Society, Jyoti by Phule. You know, these are important aspects. And you have to work on these things. Read two to three sources on these things specifically. Because for some students, this is most confusing. Because sometimes the philosophy of Brahma Samaj can be misunderstood to be a part of Pradhana Ali Samaj, which is quite common. And UPSC has this habit in films of confusing between these Samaj. So you have to revise multiple times, by heart some important terms, terminology of the Samaj. And this is a favorite topic of UPSC. Then the education policies, important education policies of British in India. And more than education policies, the economic policies, particularly the effect of the economic policies on the Indian agriculture, Indian industries, Indian artisans, Indian exports, import, overall, overall the effect of British economic policies of India has been again a very important at a conceptual level. Here facts may not be very important, but you should understand this concept very well. You can read Bipin Chandra spectrum, but understand this economic policy of British, you know, very well. Also, if it comes to the facts, the peasant and tribal movements revolves issues. Peasant and tribal. These days, the questions are increasing on this. And you know, there are several types of peasant tri tribal rewards. And though the framework is same, each tribe of India might have fought for slightly different cause. The underlying current is same, but slightly different cause. So you should identify the exact cause, exact produce, exact goods, exact cause for the tribe and for those peasants. That is important. And then 1857 revolt is important. Then if among the different phases, of course, all the moderate phase is important. And then next image phase revolution is different. These days, in the last four to five years, there were questions on revolutionary movements, revolutionary organizations in India, in various parts of India, and their main agenda, and what methods they have followed. And then you know the the, so the Bengal partition standard, the Bengal partition and Swadeshi movement questions are standard in these aspects. And then the constitutional history, it's a both part of history as well as polity. The constitutional history, this is again one of the confusing things that, that I observed among most of the candidates. You have to go through the Pitsinde Act, the Charter Act, Pitsinde Act. Charter Act, Indian Council Act, various Indian Councils Act, and Government of India Act, various Government of India Act, including 1919 and 1935, the Morley Minto reforms, the Morley Minto reforms, the Montague, the Montague, Kelsford reforms are important. Even the Simon Commission, the Cripps Mission, the Cabinet Mission are important because what are the various, you know, uh, provisions in the Kips mission, in the cabinet mission. And what are, what are the various provisions in all these acts? The 1781 Act, 84 Act, 1861 Act, 1909 Act. So all these acts, generally what happens is, though some of these acts are very close, they means progressively they have increased on the central state aspects on the, you know, as assembly, and then the powers given to the Indians in these assemblies. So progress is increased, and it's very common for candidates to be confused with these provisions. So you have to buy hard them. Read them from multiple sources, not only history sources, but also Lakshmi Khan Polity. The first few pages has the same thing. So go through them. And of course, Gandhi is very important. Among the important personalities you have to read, Gandhi. Gandhi's uh, philosophy, important books of Gandhi, very important. So friends, these are broadly the important aspects, important aspects of the history for the from the film's point of view, film's point of view, and even art and culture. In the art and culture, no need to buy out all the facts. The important architecture, particular architecture means the temple architecture is what they mostly ask. The Dravida, the Nagarashtra architecture, and the sculpture. Sculpture, even the introduction to Indian art textbook sculpture, the Gandhara, Mathura sculpture, 
and the paintings and the paintings and the important philosophy the numismatics you know the dances important dances drama folk art you know important folk art and the martial arts ga if, if it all it comes in the news it becomes more prominent so you have to focus on these things in art and culture now i will actually quickly go through the important areas covered in the last 12 years so that you will have an idea of the reputation reputation you know done by the upsc for films for films see broadly you know in the ancient history in the prehistoric times the neolithic sites about the important sites and the important culture important culture the chalcolithic culture you know the ganeshwar jodhpura culture and then important cave paintings even the species also they asked in the denisovan extinct species so but this is rare they asked only once but these are the questions that have come in the upsc in the last 12 years then the indus valley civilization as i told you the important gods they worshiped the material culture and the important harappan sites you know and then the various systems the water system drainage system road system of these harappan sites is of importance is of importance friends then in the buddhism in the vedic and later vedic generally the comparison the important philosophies that are discussed about are the questions in the vedic and later vedic and in the buddhism the various sects of buddhism each sect of buddhism what is the difference uniqueness and then the chaitya vihara the sculpture the art architecture the concept of nirvana through different definitions for example upsc sometimes the concept of nirvana is described from in some basic language which most of the student might not have read anywhere so they get confused the concept of nirvana may be same but the language in which the upsc questions they put in is different sometimes similar just like in polity though you know what is democracy what is liberty what is freedom and independence sometimes the language in, which is used in the options a b c d is slightly confusing for the candidate so you you try to read multiple sources to get more clarity on this and famous buddhist shrines their location and various kingdoms through which uh, buddha has traveled at different phase of his life even the avatars of buddha the maitreya question has directly come the features of mahayana buddhism the paramitas you know the buddhist texts buddhist texts also you have to focus on there are questions on that uh, the scholars of buddhism various scholars of buddhism in various periods various times various kingdoms are also of importance coming to jainism same thing the jain doctrine the jain doctrine in different sources different books you have to read about karma soul penance different sects of jainism jain texts jain texts found most in the western part of india and the various important scholars of jainism and what they have said in the mauryan empire kautra sadha shastra the teachings of chanakya are important and ashokas ashokas art and architecture major rock edicts location you know in dauli erragudi you know kalsi these are these are of importance and friends and friends has told you the important kingdoms it can be the mauryan kingdom post maurya gupta kingdom and then post uh, gupta king, kingdoms that i have discussed about you should know the, the important founder as well as any one important king who has ex- expanded the kingdom and their inscriptions their, their inscriptions for example satavahanas <coughs> inscription satavahanas has been asked several times in upsc prelims you know and then the main seats for the, the capitals of these kingdoms and the chronology of these kingdoms of the dynasties uh, mostly you know between the harsha gupta and harsha in post gupta in post guptas the important kings kingdoms extant capitals has been asked several times in upsc prelims as I, as i told you the important philosophy important philosophies you know the madhyamaka philosophy and important scholars of the madhyamaka philosophy has been asked and important travelers not only chinese travelers friend the arab travelers african travelers who has come to india european travelers as well of importance and terminology as i told you in ancient medieval history particularly important terms for tax officers tax collection the area region and then the, the places has been of uh, importance to importance given by upsc then coming to the art and culture till now we have discussed uh, i have just shown you the important areas that you have to focus in the ancient history now art and culture also you know the rock cut art culture the barabar caves badami ellora caves early art earliest rock cut architecture you know ajanta caves focus on these things in temple architecture also even the earliest temple architecture 
the two rooms three room four room temple architecture in, in uh, you know north india how, how what happened in south india and then important sun temple also ali and then you know the kalyan mandapa how they are their architecture the panchayat and style has been asked chausut yogini temple because it's in the news it has been asked after the central vista project it has been in the news then the buddhist architecture the mughal architecture important stupas as well as for example sanji stupa abroad stupa in buddhism and the mughal architecture the burun darwaza the baram mubara rumi darwaza different type of stones decoration has been asked several times and in the literature also the kalidasa the important scholars and what is their literature kalidasa the panini amar simha has been asked and who are the kings who patronized them you know and then the jaina text has told you already the buddhist text the important scholars the sangam literature has been asked frequently these times the important translations done the important translator who are the translators and then uh, the the saka samvad the calendar has been of importance you have to read about those things then there are various languages the tribal languages the aryan tribal languages uh, specifically halbi and hoku has been asked about uh, two years ago in the prelims the classical language has been asked the dance actually tribanga is derived from ncert though there was no news article in that year but generally dance if, if, if at all there is any news article about the dance they ask for example manipuri they ask satriya dance they ask garba they ask in the music also you know manganias they ask thyagaraj anamacharya music has been asked you know folk music then the theater forms the yakshaganas theater forms in art and culture has been asked martial arts kanta kallari pattu has been asked in the festivals particularly tribal festivals particularly northeastern festivals and tribal festivals are of importance for upsc in the mains also they are these is focusing on the northeast india the culture of northeast india because less is discussed about in most textbooks so they are focusing on that the um, traditional festivals the paintings the paintings the both satwa padma pani painting ajanta specifically ajanta caves they are mentioning certain paintings in ajanta caves in ellora caves the mogal paintings important uh, types of mogal paintings and then the balidani painting kalankari paintings are asked mural mural paintings important phase of the mural paintings in india in sculptures the famous sites in which those sculptures are there uh, the, about the ashoka the sculptures made during that time and after his time the buddhist sculptures you know mostly buddha buddha sculptures ajanta and uh, ellora particularly ajanta kew specific uh, incarnation of vishnu and then udayagiri caves they, they ask questions on and then among the place also the kalidasa place questions were there the eighth question was there in balavikagni mitra you know and then uh, the hastimalla kshemeshwara questions were there on those things just like how i have mentioned here you can go through them there are the various questions i mean i divided the overall questions came art and culture in the last few years and on the crafts also there were questions on textiles and fabric there were questions on uh, you know chanderi and kanchipuram fabric there was a question on puttukulli shawls the crafts and plays embroidery sujini embroidery and you know bhakti movement sufi movement and other religious movement as a told several questions were there on the saints for example mian thansen about their philosophy you know uh, during which king which which uh, uh, bhakti saint was there during the time who are the parallels who are the parallels shramana tradition upasaka there was a question on one who memorized chronicles the question on that for example during the magadha time uh, who are the greatest scholars what they wrote the literature and then you know, in tamil nadu in tamil nadu the bhakti movement the lingayats of karnataka as you know lingayats are the famous bhakti saints during karnataka time the sita tamil nadu questions were there historical sites the ancient medieval historical sites famous places important places of pilgrims you know has been there this is all about the art and culture similarly medieval history quickly if you look at the important topics covered as i told you medieval history is of less importance compared to ancient history and art and culture the important kingdoms asked for example kakatiya kingdom seaport question was asked in that year several people could not even identify the seaport kakatiya kingdom and the the founders of uh, the pratiharas pallas sholas you know pallavas founders and important kings who expanded the kingdom and important kings rashtrakutas paramara important kings as i told you the uh, certain kingdoms you should know who are the important kings questions were asked vijayagaram for example founder harihara a question was asked a chronological order of certain kingdoms 
within a kingdom certain kings or general certain kingdoms who which rule a place in that place which kingdom first established then which kingdom has come for example delhi sultanate there are several dynasties in delhi sultanate you should understand the chronology remember the chronology then in medieval india the administration it can be in the delhi sultanate or mughal time the administration jagirda jamindari the ikta system bakshi system meer bakshi and vijaya kingdom also had the taxation the revenue administration taxation vijaya kingdoms the questions were there essential elements of feudal system questions were there important terminologies for example what is a phanum what is kula dharan what is the aragatta as i told you patakilla maharatta means important terms that you find in ncr textbook about medieval history and mongols chengiz khan and the important kings of mongols polis of mongols you know the time when attack question was asked arrival of babur when did babur arrive at that time what technologies were there is it was ammunition there during that time important travelers these are the questions questions in medieval history and modern history is of highest importance modern history highest importance for example the expansion consolidation of british about the ilbert bill subsidiary alliance how they expanded how they consolidated each place one after another i told you the economic impact the charter act questions were there not only 1813 several charter act questions were there 1857 revolt the concept the political economic concept behind the revolt and then emergence of the nationalism the partition of bengal is a favorite favorite and then the critic the economic critic swadeshi movement is always a favorite of ups as i told you before the national movement for example the gadar party you know the revolution the revolution movement sectional movement the gadar party the sura split the champaran satyagraha anything of related to gandhi ji is a very important national movement the, the mass nationalism that happened you know after the non cooperation movement you know the, the simon commission rawl attack you should know the even the chronology also government of 1919 the the montag cults of reform cdm battle committee gandhi irvin pact you know all these questions were asked in upsc and you know after that after the cdm the quit india movement the right left committee crips proposal question was there i would ina members question was there for example about ina members of subhash chandra bose has been in the news in the last 3 to 4 years after some files were declassified you know there were questions on ina members their importance you know how they came uh, from the singapore through the myanmar through towards the northeast these are these are of importance the education reform i told you the economy and educational reforms are of importance are of importance you know the woods dispatch and the how the education was introduced in india and various important organizations and leaders like theos society the anni present ian sessions and the presidents and the social party party keshav chandra sen satyasodha samaj various organizations before the congress is formed lokande lalajpatra so, so, you know swaraj sabha hind mazdoor all these things important organizations founders see several questions were asked or asked on the important organizations and their founders and the region in which they have uh, established that and a chronological order of this uh, you know important parties even the imperial bank of india air india you know post independence though this is post independence continuation from the independence only and socio economic issues the rohitra settlement trade disputes the factories acts the indigo cultivation industrial revolution in india means even before independence after independence also and the important governors governor generals and important things that they have done during their time any introduction of any act it can be socio cultural or political thing uh, important governor generals it can relate to agriculture the industries whatever similarly the tribal and peasant movement the peasant movement i told you the tibaga peasant movement santal uprising the santal is one of the largest tribe so the uprising is of, is of importance you know and then the cultural aspects cultural aspects particularly madanapalli in andhra pradesh the song from uh, president gandhi so even these kind of questions are given this is broadly these are the broadly questions or areas areas from which questions have come so friends after seeing this video uh, this is after seeing this long video unknowingly in your mind you will have a clear picture of while reading for history for the prelims what areas you have to focus on what you should not focus on what you have to leave on which areas you have to read multiple sources and gain more depth which areas you can read any one source and understand the basics so that is that is the idea behind making this video all the best prepare well for history because history if you prepare well you can directly score even guessing also you can guess the answers very well list though you think that history is factual factual uh, you know subject guessing is very easy in history using the common sense
in the next video i'll come up with geography polity economy environment i'll make uh, uh, videos take care and see you